So I'm standing here with Plain Townships SPH 100. Uh, so what we have here is a 73 inch cab with a 10 inch raised roof and rear exterior compartments that are not transverse. Moving our way down along the side, you got some unique features here. So you open up this forward compartment. They have their monitor here for their 360 camera system. They also went with a plexiglass cover to see the position of their outriggers without dropping that uh, panel down there. Working our way around the side here, they did something a little bit different as well. This is a Hale 1500 GPM pump with no cross lays. What they decided to do is put a compartment right here instead for some long pike poles and tools. They also went with no cross lays here, so what that allowed them to do is have a full depth, uh, full width, full depth compartment in this section here. So this unit also does not have a tank. They went with a full complement of ladders, and we'll see that when we go around to the rear. So they have a swing out tool board here with a sliding tray with it, brought to you by FMI. Working our way around the side here, they went with a cord reel in their compartment with a bunch of fans. One of the unique features of the SPH is your chocks here are stored uh, in this area here, which is normally a dead space. All along the side here, you see they have the Whalen M6 or M9 V2 warning lights. They are warning and scene lights. They also went with these small ion warning lights in through the rub rails. This thing's really going to light up at night. Working our way around to the back here, they went with the M9 V2 warning and scene lights and these scene lights will come on in reverse so it'll really illuminate your rear um, of the truck. Opening up your compartment back here, like I said they have a full complement of ladders. They went with no hose so they have a 35 foot 2 section, two 28 foot 2 sections, and three 24 foot 2 sections, and then two 16 foot roof ladders on the top. So over here we have our Stokes arm. You also have your parapet ladder. They really went out on the scene lights here. They have all FRC Spectra scene lights, two on the bottom of the bucket, one on the face and one on each corner in the bucket, which are telly lights. They went with the taller compartments, the 58 inch tall or 56 inch tall compartments. Scene lights all along the side, warning lights here. Again, full depth, full height compartments with swing out tool board on this side. So they opted to not go for an air bottle on this one. So generally what they're probably going to do is put some type of storage in here for cribbing or loose tools or something like that. In here, you got your cord reel, holds up to 150 foot of 10-3. Uh, this compartment here is also more storage. They got their water cans in here. On their 73 inch cab, they went with barrier steps. And they also went with auxiliary steps underneath those. So like I said before, when the jacks are deployed, your cab's going to be a little higher off the ground, so those steps help you get back up into the cab a little bit easier. So working our way around to the front here, they went with a 18 inch fully steel front bumper with recessed pockets in the side. They went with a cord reel on their front bumper here. They also put the Q2B in the bumper itself, and they opted for the Roto Ray in the grill as well. Pretty popular option. 